fashion week. It's fucking 7.30. It is so early and I'm getting ready for a fitting that I have before class starts. Class starts at 11, my fitting is at nine. We're going to an Issa Boulder fitting. I'm excited. I'm trying not to like put pressure on myself because it's always such a stressful time. It's also the week where I feel literally the most insecure about everything. And I'm really not trying to like fall into that rabbit hole. I feel like I get major imposter syndrome during fashion week because I see like all these really cool people dressed super nice and then I'm there and I'm like, I feel like I don't belong in fashion week. So it just makes me feel like super insecure, which is why I don't really like fuck with it that much. Granted, like I'm super thankful to be participating. This is my second Paris fashion week. But I don't know if I count the first one because I only did like one thing, which was Sandro, which I'm also doing this year. But this is like my first official Paris Fashion Week. I'm excited, but also nervous at the same time. I feel like Paris is a lot more intimidating and a lot more legit than New York. I already felt so weird and like imposter syndrome-y in New York Fashion Week. So like, I think those feelings are definitely heightened in Paris. Especially because like I don't really know anyone here. I think it's like gonna be a little intense but I'm really not trying to like push myself to do everything because I also have school. Literally out of every single week that I have in the semester, this week I have classes every single day of the week. Like normally I have Fridays off but not this week. What are you gonna do? What I wear has to fit both like school and whatever event I'm going to, which can be tricky because I wear the minimum. There is a Uniqlo store opening that I might go to because they're giving like a 20% discount on everything, I think. And like, if I can go grab a couple of sweaters for a better price, what makes you think I'm gonna skip up on that opportunity? We came back from Copenhagen last night, which was super fun. If you haven't seen my Copenhagen vlog, it's also up on my channel. I think that is it. This is the outfit of the day. This is from Ragdoll, Uniqlo, Urban Outfitters, Rifted, Redone. Quite business casual today. Business at the top, casual on the bottom. Vlogging in French public is so scary. I have to transfer to the metro from the tram. So I just got a coffee and a croissant to like wake me up. Yeah, like a set like that. But if you just want to try the skirt, it's fine. Oh my god, this yeah. is so cute. This is really cute. I think I want to try these on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe the skirt. This with like a little layer would be cute. So I think I'm gonna do this little tube top skirt and then this knit sleeve that like ties to the other arm that I like didn't put on. But maybe this. Like that. <laughs> Deb's here too, <laughs> trying on her look. <laughs> I wrapped up my fitting. I'm going to class. I'm actually trekking right now because I'm a little late. That fitting was so cute. So many cute pieces. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm wearing because like it kind of changed from the last thing that I showed, but I'll keep it a surprise. The show is until next Tuesday. To school. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so late. I'm like 20 minutes late. Oh well. What are you gonna do? I love my hair today. I was watching this TikTok of this girl who was showing me her hair here really. And I was like, oh my god, we have to do this. <laughs> I got a package for um, in the middle of the hallway. Bonjour. Green Cardi. <laughs> and for the big box. Look at my new coat. Perfect. 
This is what I'm gonna wear on Thursday. <laughs> I swear, everyone in this building is gonna think I'm a shopaholic. I swear I'm not. <laughs> What up? I just got back home from school. I quickly bought a little pre-made meal at Monopri. Where'd that though? Let me show you my food. I got actually quite a lot of food because I was hungry at the moment. I went to Monopri and grabbed some pre-made sushi and a poke bowl because I quickly have to eat. Maybe do a little bit of homework, get ready, and then go to the Uniqlo store opening that's like at the Opera store, like the Opera Paris, like they're opening a store there. So we're gonna go there. I'm so hungry. Today has been such a chaotic day. Like I feel like I've been on go mode all morning. I started at 7.30 and like, I've just been running from place to place and then like trying to make it to class. I was late to both of my classes just by a little bit, which is fine. But hopefully the sushi is good. I haven't had sushi since moving to Paris. So I like that my first taste of it will be grocery store sushi. And also the tuna here isn't like tuna. It's like canned tuna, which is really interesting. Cause like I'm a major tuna girl, but I hate canned tuna. But well, that's actually pretty fire. Okay, okay. It literally looks like every other store-bought sushi you can think of, like the crispy onion thing and then the spicy mayo. Really good though. Dip it in the soy sauce. I'm gonna feast and enjoy my moment of peace for like as long as I can before I have to get ready and go out again. So, cheers. I put on my outfit again. I was doing homework before this, but now I'm going to the Uniqlo store opening event. <laughs> Watch out. We have a horrible view. Back from the Uniqlo event, I want to do a haul of everything I got. The event was super cool. Here's like my take on my first like French event. So it's really interesting that, you know, French people are obviously a lot more like conversational and like they have that culture of like sitting down in a cafe and like talking with their friends for like hours. So you can just imagine what a networking like influencer event would look like. So many people were talking to each other, like so many people were just talking, which is so different from other events that I've like been to in New York. Cause I think New York is a lot more like clicky and a lot more antisocial in that regard at least compared to like France. Like I don't even want to get started on LA events because that's like on another level of antisocial. But it was really interesting to just like see so many people like vibe with each other and the store was huge. So many heads, it was crazy. Now here's my haul. So because of the event, the whole store was 20% off. I got four of their like heat tech stuff, which is like really good when it's cold. I got a pair of leggings. I got two scoop neck long sleeves. I got a basic white top because I wear deodorant that's like stick, which I know is like my fault. So I always get like yellow deodorant marks by like the fifth wear. So like I keep having to buy new white shirts. I really should just like work on fixing that issue instead of buying new white shirts because that's not sustainable. But what do you want to do? I got this really nice cobalt blue cashmere scarf. And then I got this black little vest. I got two socks, one white, one patterned. And then Finally, I got this really cute gray sweater that like half zips. I think that would be so cute with like the white shirt under. So yeah, that's my Uniqlo haul. I'm gonna finish up homework because I still have to do that. And then shower, sleep. I don't have any events tomorrow, but I'm just gonna try to finish all of like my week's work tomorrow since it's like my only free day and just try to get like as much done as possible. Peace out, Girl Scout. <coughs> so. Whoa. In my last video, I talked about how I constantly have a fear that I'm gonna get sick. We did it. It hurts to talk. Oh my God, I can't even swallow. This is gonna be a really hard day. I love that I'm getting sick right now because I have so much going on in the next few days and like I need energy. <laughs> But I mean, I got sick. There's nothing I can do at this point. It's not like I can reverse it. I can only focus on getting better. I have to go to class. Holy shit. I gotta go. This might help. Okay. 
It's a little better. It's Wednesday at like 10 a.m. I have class at 11. We're gonna watch the Battle of Algiers in class, which should be fun. We have a site visit in my ethnography class. We're going to Palais Royale to like observe. I don't fucking know. And then I have to get home, get ready, because I have a presentation at 6 for the brand Vore Saison 2024 presentation. I'm going to my second class. I don't know what we're gonna do there. Just like look around, but yeah, we're going. We had like a little break, so I was catching up on some readings. I feel like shit. Apparently we're like so late and I didn't even know. There's a fight going on in front of me. Update, I canceled my event because as much as I would have loved to go, I am not feeling well. And I know it's exciting, but I need to take care of my body before I can do anything. And my body is literally begging for me to stay home. So I'm going to do that and just do homework. I have a presentation tomorrow and just rest up because there are other events, you know, tomorrow and the following days and events come and go. I need to fucking get better. I just took a shower and I need to show you how this K-18 mask works because you will see how good my hair is gonna look tomorrow. Now, I don't know if this works on straight hair people, but I'm a curly hair girl, so that's what I do. I put one pump and then I warm it up in my hands. You're gonna see, it's gonna turn white. Like, okay, real mime shit. This is just one pump. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna start with my ends. Can I put this on my scalp? Yeah, to work out to ends and then go into roots. And I do this on days where like I really don't want to deal with my hair for the next couple of days because it just looks so fucking good after. Okay. And my hair is like towel dry, kind of damp. It's not like dry. And then kind of just section my hair and I just twist it with my finger. Just take and twist. I spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Oh, also in the shower, I just shampoo when I put this mask on. I don't condition. So that's another thing. I just took a nap. I'm gonna get started on my presentation. I have to talk about Monet's Water Lilies. And I've been doing like a lot of reading on it. Now I just need to like organize all my notes and like put it in presentation form. But pretty interesting. Okay. All the pieces have been twisted and turned. And I'm just gonna let it air dry. Just let it sit. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Updating you on the hair. So looks like this right now. It's still kind of in its coils. I'm gonna take some hair oil, Olaplex bonding oil. It's so good. Just a little bit on my fingers. And then I'm gonna use that to kind of separate my hair from the coils. It is looking so good. Okay, we're not done, we're not done. Hold on. Normally, if I was back home, I'd finish it with hairspray just so the curls stay intact. But I don't have hairspray, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Olaplex volumizing blow dry mist. And this is just like a protectant against humidity and heat, and it tends to get humid. So I don't like that because when it's humid, my hair gets frizzy, and I don't like that. And it's also volumizing, so it's gonna keep them nice and voluminous. Beautiful. And then top it off with the living proof instant defrizzer that's my hair it's perfect i love it it's the morning this is my hair it kind of got loose but the rest looks great it's just the fronts that i think i need to like fix 
that's her. I woke up at 9. It's like 9.40 right now. I'm gonna run through my presentation one more time and then go to the museum. I'm fucking shitting my pants. I don't have presentation anxiety necessarily. I'm just intimidated by my professor because I just feel like she's gonna come out and say everything you just said is wrong. That is wrong. Stop talking. Like, I feel like that's what she's gonna say to me. I don't know, but I'm gonna run through the shit one more time and then I'll be off. On my little adventure. I skipped my French class and I just slept in because I needed to do that so that I could do this presentation and the events that are later today. This is called warning. Presentation is over. I'm going back home so I can get ready for Sandro and Mosh. We also happen to be walking right by the Dior, Dior show. show. That was yesterday. She said it was good. Like she said I had all the information. I just didn't organize it well because I kind of like told the class that he had cataracts in the beginning, which I shouldn't have. But she really likes me, so I think I'll be fine. Anyway, Dior show. Where was my invite, Dior, huh? I need to eat. I'm like feeling weak because I haven't eaten. Also, we've been eating raw fish for like four days. I don't know if you've noticed from my vlogs, but like I'm literally always eating either a poke bowl or the sushi triangles. Ugh, I gotta go. I think this is what I'm gonna wear to Sandro. The skirt is a little long for my taste, but it's a little big, so I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do. This belt it doesn't have like tighter loops. Now I'm gonna try on my Maj outfit. This is what I decided on wearing for both events because I don't have a place to change outfits, but sweater and skirt are from Maj. Who for you? I'm wearing this like little corset thingy. I think it's from Cat the Label. And then these really cute slides courtesy of Daniela are from Ghani. Ta-da! We've been getting ready. My room is like chaos, but we did it. I'm gonna go to Sandro first and then Maj. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm so pooped. soft though, like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> bags, bags, bags. Well, which one should I do? Green. But I'm literally wearing the green. It's really different. It's a very different green. I actually like this shade of green a lot more. This also fits pretty cool, but look at it in the mirror. Like, the way it hangs off is pretty cool. I love the boat, So green or brown? See, that's the sweater that I See, want. Like, this is also really cool. So, I'll do the jacket in a yes. 30... In a 34? Alright. Um, and then, I'll pick another bit. Yeah, sure. We're united with my peeps! Mine is Haley. Yeah. Haley, where the fuck are you? Where are you? Where the fuck is she? My fellow Turks. Me. Turkish food with my Turkish girl. Case test, case test. Or should I like tie it? You gotta go like this. You gotta go. Rawr. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's so cute. So, so cute. cute. The girls are going out. I'm going <laughs> home. I love coming to a room like this. It's truly the best. I love that my trash can is in the middle of the room. <laughs> I am trying to plan an outfit for today. We have like, I don't know, five different presentations or showrooms to go to. And I know I'm gonna wear this jacket that I thrifted for a fact. I'll probably wear my bugler with it. What top would I wear? If I don't know. Last night, in my Uber home, keep in mind, I was a little tipsy. Like, honestly, bordering kind of drunk. I get in my Uber, and I have a 
30 minute conversation in French with my Uber driver. And we talked about like how Bolt is better than Uber and how hard it is to learn languages. At some point we were talking about Turkish politics. How I was speaking? while not being sober in French, I still don't even understand. But for the 15 remaining, like the second half of the conversation, I recorded it on my camera because I was like, I wanna listen back and see like what I'm saying so I can like fix my mistakes. But I'll like put a little clip of it. It's just so fun. It really made my night. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. I have to go. I ended up skipping or I decided to skip my first event just because I don't think I'm gonna make it and I don't wanna rush getting ready. So I'm gonna take my time. Vitamin gang, here we got my multivitamin. This is her. This is I think my third bottle and I really like these. I honestly feel a lot better when I take them versus when I don't take them. They're also good for like mood regulation, PMS, cramps, stuff like that. Like hormonally, I think it's really nice. And also if you tend to to eat less like if you skip meals by accident or like you just don't eat a lot and you feel like you're not getting the nutrients that your body like physically needs there's a good vitamin i have gone through i think like seven bottles of these turmeric and ginger pills my whole family is obsessed with them they're just really good for your health ginger and turmeric really great and then this is a different bottle. These are chunky ones. These are magnesium. I take these when I'm sick and like I'm getting over a cold. I don't take them like all the time or like when my muscles are aching because magnesium is really good for muscle pain as well. I unfortunately ran out of my probiotics, which sucks. I have raved about probiotics and symbiotics especially so much and they are life-changing like it's like really not one of those pills that you just like take and it's like bullshit like no like this I like literally feel it working it's really good for your gut health and like your gut health is really like connected to your immune system I have a really shitty immune system really good for like digestion and metabolism if you have IBS or like you just struggle to go to the bathroom really good for that too it's really good at like mood regulation because your hormones and mood is really dependent on your gut health. The ones I recommend are Seed or Ritual. I've taken both and I've liked both. They're both symbiotics, which is pre, pro, and postbiotics. So it's like all three of them. Anyway, I could like write a fucking 10 page thesis on probiotics and how amazing they are. I highly recommend like that. Like this shit is amazing. Like I'm not even fucking kidding. Time for the magnesium ones. These are like chunky, bro. Like chunky. People who are like, I can't swallow pills. First of all, grow the fuck up. Second of all, you don't realize when you eat food, the bite you're swallowing is going to be like 10 times bigger than the pill you're swallowing. Like, what do you mean you can't swallow? Like, what? pretend you're eating food. Like, pretend you're eating a piece of bread. Like, it's the same thing. Like, what? No, I don't get it. Just grow up, do better. Outfit rundown. This jacket, unfortunately, is thrifted. <laughs> this beautiful corset is from Aritzia. My belt is streets ahead. My jeans are Urban Outfitters. My shoes are Rita and bag is Mugler. I really like my earring stack situation going on. These are from Depop, random silver hoop. This is from Ferris Jewelry. I fucking love that brand. This is Justine Clement, I think. Oh, and then my sunnies are Vela. Okay, bye. I met up with the peeps. We're at Cafe de la Mary. I got the burger. Oh my god, Kim K has entered the <laughs> <La> cafe. <laughs> That's actually Kylie Jenner. Oh. Kim Wait, how, how do you feel? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Venus, 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 oh, wow. <laughs> Phoenix esque. Whoa, it's like double. That is oh gorgeous. That literally my This is. <laughs> and that's new. Touching the bag. Giving tinfoil in the best way. Oh, what does she say? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a racetrack. Wee wee baguettes. Oh. <laughs> a bunch of wee wee baguettes. Oh, oh my god. god. 
What is this popping street yeah. going on over what here? Cool what are y'all? Why aren't you inviting us to your yeah. hangout? That's really weird. I think they're getting uncomfortable yeah, the fact that I'm us. filming this. <laughs> We're actually feasting. This is crazy. Like, <laughs> there's no room on this table. <laughs> I kind of forgot to vlog just a little bit, but we went to the Sen and we just got a bottle of wine and we just drank some wine. It was super cute, and then we're getting grapes, and then I'm gonna go. It is Sunday. I'm getting ready for a golden goose fitting. This is so exciting. When I got the text from my management, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. I'm so excited. We're gonna go. They're letting me pick out a pair of sneakers and like a key piece for fashion week, which is just so sweet of them. Thank you. It took me a minute to plan my outfit, but I really like it because it's really cute and it's really me. I love outfits that are like half feminine, half masculine. I don't know, I just really like that. Anyway, last night, I didn't really vlog the end of our night. I just kind of wanted to be like in the moment and like I didn't want to carry my camera and like, you know, sometimes you just need to like take a break. I feel like I've been filming all week and I just wanted to like be with my friends. But it was super cute. We got like a bottle of wine. We went to the Seine and we just like drank and talked. It was fun. It was super cute. I'm honestly so sad. I don't want them to leave. Like I wish everyone in New York, like my friends in New York, not, not all of New York, would just move to Paris <laughs> and we would just live here. But yeah, getting ready right now. And then I think we're probably going to get food. I don't really know. I like need to do homework at some point. I have so many readings due tomorrow and I have not started a single one so it's a little concerning I know I have like at least 70 pages worth of reading like that I know for a fact more blush um, yeah so yesterday was more of like a showroom day I just went to I think three or maybe four I don't know and it was really cute we just got to like see cool pieces that are launching next year and just like starting to build relationships with brands that are based in Paris for the future if I ever move here which I've like already kind of decided that I am I mean let's not speak big because I don't like know what I will be doing when I'm 23 Shit, shit. So because I took a leave of absence, I'm like a semester behind the rest of my class. So maybe I'll do like that extra semester in Paris and come back here. That could be a really good idea. I'll look into it. Overall, I'm just so happy I picked Paris over London. I probably would have had a great time in London too, but I need to be here. I don't really have plans for the rest of the day. I'm kind of just going to this fitting and then hanging out with them. They're leaving on Monday, so I don't have like a lot of time with them then i'll probably come back here and like do homework go back to being a school girl i don't really want to off a check this is thrifted got it off depop this little um slip is from intimacy me i'm wearing my gazelles and then my bag is poppy lisman and this is her I'm in their store and I was thinking this jacket. I love the cheetah print inside. Like, are you kidding me? It's so cute. I also like this, but I'd rather do the jacket. I feel like these would go really well with the jacket. I think I like these. Oh. Oh my god. the same thing. The yellow stop. That is so neat. So I low key need this. That's so cute. This is rocking out, but this is leather. Okay. And we have some other uh, materials as well. We have velvets, uh, satins, and we have a velvet shine. So cute. And also we create the uh, embroidery itself, and then we ship those to Italy, and then they make the
Look at my beautiful jacket. And the inside, so cute. Inside pocket, inside pocket. I transformed the skirt and I put a corset. Did you feel like you this necklace? And I'm gonna wear my golden goose shoes. Bonsoir. Bon Bonsoir. fucking soir. Oh, he's waving. No. Here's a little life update. Fully slept through my first class. I woke up at 12 because I got home at like 4 a.m. last night after that little party rave type situation. I got home whenever I slept, woke up, and then I was like, fuck, I need to get ready. Picked out what I'm gonna wear for Canada Goose tonight. This is what I'm wearing. It's really the most simple outfit you can imagine. This is from Zara. These are Subi. And then these are the golden goose shoes that I'm gonna wear tonight. I got this bag at an ASC gifting. The brand will be on the screen. I don't know where it's from right now. Paris. This one. <laughs> no baguettes. No. Okay, this is the outfit. Jacket is from Golden Goose. It's so cute. I fucking love it. You know, I'm such a big biker jacket girl. Corset is from Aritzia. Skirt is from Mango. Shoes are obviously Golden Goose. And then, I don't know if I want to do this bag, but the bag is from Dentro. I have a red bag that could go with, like, the shoes. But I also like the vibe of the bag. Also, I just opened this PR package. Look at my fucking earrings. They're from Heaven Mayhem. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute. So, what do we think about the bag? I don't know. Ugh, no. Definitely not. We're doing this bag. Look at it. It's like architecture. And then it has like these white like tassels kind of hanging out. I pulled up to the girls crib and they're getting ready still. I'm just sitting my ass down. Samira went shopping. Samira, is this your Fendi bag? Yeah. Isn't it your major mom bag? It's so mom. I know, that's why I got it. It's so cute. Guys, Samira's gonna do a haul for you. Okay, this is everything I've gotten. So starting off. Wow. Mommy. Mom bag. Mommy. Silver detailing, which is so not me. Yeah, you're a gold but girl. But I really want to transition into silver. Welcome to the club. Thank you. Next. That is so cute. Haley has this in red. In red. And I was like, how cute would it be if I got it in blue and we could match? That's really cute. I got this buffer. You're you crazy. Have to see it. You have to. No, have I to can see imagine it. how good it like, looks. Like the sweater, it's like so tight right here, like, like up to here, and then the rest is like cropped. Puff, yeah. And puffy, and it's like. So That's cute. so cute. And it says Dior. Because we didn't oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> There's more. Okay, I thought that was the last thing. No, this is this is the last thing. <laughs> but this is the cutest thing on a wall. I want you to try it on after, actually, because you, you'll see what I mean. Stop. That I mean, is so cute. so cute. Like it's structured. Yeah. And it's tight, like corset. Wait, thing. that's really cute. But then cute. I felt like I got like a lot of monogram stuff, so I, I can't wear anything together and I really have to space it out. But this is so cute. Yeah. Like this is my favorite one. Yeah, me, I agree. Me too. Yeah. Well, congratulations. So, would so you ever wear that with the bag? No. No. Yeah. It's just the monogram is like too much. Little Dior dolls. Pick a vote. Left or right? What wow, should she wear? That today? is crazy. This one. If you ever want to borrow that, let me know. Someone take away her credit card. Fashion week. Fashion week. Yeah, yeah. It's so fashion week. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
and like my outfit and my jewelry. I'm so excited. I'm actually wearing all Issa Boulder, so I think it's going to be very fun. I'm a little concerned as to how I'm gonna like walk out of my dorm to the car to the show because the pants situation, which you'll see, isn't very doable for the outside world. Like I'm okay to wear it inside a show. Like I don't care about that, but I wouldn't want to wear it in public. But look at how cute this earring is. And my little hair clip. And then this one. It's really cute. Everything is Issa Boulder, <laughs> except for the bag, which is Dentro. She's super cute. And then I got my boots off Depop. I'm loving this hair and this earring. It's just so cute. Ah! I made it. You guys, I'm here alone. <laughs> I'm just on my own right now. So you guys are just gonna be with me this whole time. Because I don't know anyone. And he says it here. How was the show? It was so good. I fucking I loved everything. Love. J'adore. <laughs> What up with Issa? We're waiting for Abra and Samira so we can grab breakfast, I mean for lunch. It's almost one. And then I'm gonna go home and do homework! I'm gonna cry. What did they that? What is that? Beautiful muscle. Lemon juice? What is that? Thank you. You're welcome. I just got back from Shijanu and I'm gonna end this vlog because this has been a long ass vlog. I think I've been vlogging for like over a week, like an eight day vlog. I think this was like honestly the best way to end fashion week though. Like the show was so fucking good. Like, I don't know, I had a lot of fun. Thank you Issa Boulder for inviting me and honestly dressing me. Let me show you my room. I have not cleaned my room in like over a week and it's time I kind of like get my shit together. I leave for Amsterdam this weekend so I really need to like be normal. Also like I'm not over my cold still. Like I still have a runny nose. I don't know what's going on but I just need to like relax basically for these two days. Also fucking France is having a bed bug infestation so like I'm super paranoid that I have bed bugs and like I just want to like wash all my sheets and like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>